Hello, my name is Nurse Betty. What is your name? Hi, Betty. My name is Robert Washington. You can call me Robert, though. Okay, Robert. I see you have been admitted for severe abdominal pain. Can you tell me about the symptoms you have been having? I have been getting this horrible pain a few hours after I eat. The only thing that makes me feel better is to eat again. And I have noticed I have had some really dark bowel movements. Do you smoke or drink any alcohol? Well I guess I smoke about a pack of cigarettes a day and I drink just a few beers a night. How long have you been smoking? I guess for about 25 years. I think since I was about 18 years old. Do you drink any caffeinated products and if you do, how much per day? I drink about 3 to 4 cups of coffee in the morning and I drink about 1 Mountain Dew every hour throughout the day. I started doing this when I was in nursing school. How about any medications you take on a regular basis? Well I take Motrin about 3 times a day for some lower back pain. How long have you been taking Motrin on a daily basis? Oh, for about 2 years I would say. Ever since I hurt my back at work. Okay, I am going to give all this information to the nurse practitioner, but to me it sounds like you have duodenal ulcers. Okay, I spoke to your nurse practitioner and she also thinks it is duodenal ulcers and has scheduled you for an E, G, D, or esophageal gastroduodenoscopy. Oh my gosh, what is that? Are they going to cut me open? Am I going to die? Is this going to hurt? No sir. It is a simple test where you will be under conscious sedation, which means you will be sleepy but awake, but you will not remember anything. The doctor will take a scope and guide it down your throat into your stomach and small intestine to check for ulcers. He may also take a small biopsy while he is in there with the scope. But you will not feel anything. I have your results and the doctor has looked over them and confirmed that you do have duodenal ulcers. He has already been in to explain the results and that you will be put on medications. Right? Yes, he explained everything but I still feel very confused. His explanations sounded like they were directly from a textbook. Well let me explain it then. You will be going home with Prilosec which is a proton pump inhibitor and it is going to decrease your gastric acid production. You will only have to take this medication once a day, so I would recommend picking a time that is easiest for you to remember, such as right before bed or when you wake up. The doctor also recommends some lifestyle changes, such as reducing your caffeine and alcohol intake. Smoking cessation would also be helpful in controlling your ulcers so if you would like information we can get that for you. Also we need to find another way to control your pain. Taking that much modern is a contributing factor to these ulcers. Thank you very much. I will call the office if I have any questions. For all of you at home, here is a list of symptoms to watch for with duodenal ulcers. Do you know any cool Backstreet Boy songs that we could sing this to? No. Well, how about some rap that we could rhyme this to? I am afraid not, but that would be cool if I had that much talent. Please just tell the audience what they need to know. Abdominal pain, abdominal pain after meals, pain below the ribs, gastrointestinal bleeding, nausea, vomiting to name a few. That is correct and here are some more. Weight loss, fatigue, heartburn, indigestion, belching, <coughs> chest pain, vomiting blood, bloody or dark dairy stools. If you are like me and do not want to change your lifestyle or eating habits here are some complications that can arise as a result of these complications. Acute pancreatitis, gastrointestinal perforation, hypovolemic shock, abdominal pain, gastroduodenal ulcers. It sounds like this is definitely something I should guard myself against. Most definitely. 
This show has been a public service announcement from your local nursing students of Mennonite College of Nursing at Illinois State University. Written by Jana Benji, Cheryl Jows, Lena Marcheshi, Allison Mortensen and Jenna Sunderland. Directed and produced by Seth Williams. The notes from the Nursing 231 class were referenced for the making of this production. The actors in this production wish to remain anonymous, 